Hi, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. LinkedIn uses Android Studio to build high-quality Android apps. To hear the pro tips, visit the link for the video. Gootsly is a new open source algorithm that creates high quality JPEG images with file sizes 35% smaller than currently available methods. A link to the GitHub is on the post. The WebGL JavaScript API exposes hardware accelerated 3D graphics to the web. Chrome 56 brings support for WebGL 2.0, a major upgrade to the API, which unlocks a variety of new graphics features and advanced rendering techniques. To get started with WebGL 2.0, check out the WebGL 2.0 samples pack linked from the post. We are releasing a major upgrade to SyntaxNet. It incorporates nearly a year's worth of our research on multilingual language understanding and is available to anyone interested in building systems for processing and understanding text. To learn more about SyntaxNet or a new multilingual parsing competition, check out the post. Science isn't just about discovering new results, it's also about human understanding. That's why, in collaboration with OpenAI, DeepMind, YC Research, and others, we're excited to announce the launch of Distill, a new open source science journal and ecosystem supporting human understanding of machine learning. Distill is an independent organization dedicated to fostering a new segment of the research community. Follow the link to see the overview page or read the latest articles. You can now get insights into how your Firebase real-time database instance is performing by using the profiler built into the Firebase CLI. That means you can now easily monitor your database writes and reads at the path level, collecting granular data on bandwidth usage and speed. Screenshots are on the post. In the past few weeks, AdMob has rolled out support for video assets and native ads express, giving you a new way to create more engaging presentations for your users. Code and a video are on the post. If you like the dev show, please share it with your friends and colleagues. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching The Dev Show. Once you're done sharing it with your friends and colleagues, uh, check out some of our previous episodes here or subscribe. <laughs> See you next time.